Hey y'all, today we're making homemade oatmeal cream pies. I'm so excited about this one. So first off, we're gonna get our dry ingredients together. We're gonna need one and a quarter cups of flour, and then you're gonna need two thirds of a cup of quick oats. And I don't know if there's a difference with the regular oats and the quick oats, but it said quick oats, and you know me, I'm not a rule breaker. <laughs> okay, I couldn't even say that with a straight face. Anyway, two thirds of a cup of quick oats, y'all. Then we're gonna add in three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda, and then three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And we're gonna get this good and mixed up, and then we're gonna set it to the side and get our wet ingredients together. Now I'm excited about this, y'all. My grandbabies have all requested a certain kind of snack cake that they want me to try to recreate at home. So challenge accepted, y'all. We're gonna be making a few of these, so in the coming weeks, y'all, be ready to find some more little, little Debbie things we've got going on here. And y'all, I'd like to take a moment, a moment of silence, please. Everybody, meet Margo. This is Margo the Mixer. I finally did it, y'all. I broke down and I bought me a mixer. <laughs> I bought me a stand mixer, y'all. I know y'all gotta be as excited as me that I'm not gonna be flinging flour all over the kitchen. I'm so excited, ain't she pretty, y'all? But anyway, let me stop talking about Margo. We're gonna see if she can earn her keep around here. This is her maiden voyage, y'all. This is the first time I've used her, so we're gonna see what she does. So we're gonna start out by adding one stick of softened butter right to our bowl. And look at Margo go. Honey, she is working that butter. Okay, Margo, I see you. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna let Margo do her thing. Get that butter all nice and creamed up. You know how the fancy people say, stop it and scrape your bowl down every now and then. So I did. Then we're gonna start adding our other stuff in here. We're gonna slow it down so we don't sling stuff. And we're gonna add about a quarter of a cup of white sugar. And then we're gonna add three quarters of a cup of packed dark brown sugar. I'm sure light would probably be fine, but it said dark brown, so that's what I did. So we're gonna let that mix around in there. And then we're going to add in one tablespoon of molasses. Now, I'm gonna have to find some more recipes that call for molasses, y'all, because uh, she was a little pricey. But you know what? I do whatever for the grandbabies. So molasses it is, honey. So put your molasses in and let that mix around. And then we're going to add in a half a teaspoon of salt. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in one room temperature egg. And then we're gonna add in two teaspoons of vanilla. And we're gonna let Margot do her thing until everything is nice and combined, okay? Once everything is mixed really well, we're gonna start adding in our dry ingredients. Now turn, turn your mixer on low and just let it slowly incorporate those dry ingredients. Now I sped it up, it ain't going that fast, y'all, calm down. So you're just gonna add these a little at a time until you get everything good and incorporated. Now we're not gonna mix this to death, okay? We're gonna scrape it down, get it out of the, you know, get it out of the paddle there, and we're gonna make sure all the dry stuff gets in there and mostly gets incorporated. And then we're gonna set Margo to the side for a little bit. She's gonna make a reappearance, y'all, don't worry. But we're gonna go ahead and just, see that flour that I'm knocking off the paddle there? That's okay, because we're gonna just mix it in by hand, and that way your cookie isn't over mixed, okay? So do the best you can with getting everything, you know, off your paddle there and kind of mixed in out of your, you know, off the sides of your bowl and everything. Look at there, y'all. I felt so doggone fancy using, <laughs> using this mixer. Y'all know y'all gonna be seeing Margo a lot because I'm gonna just find recipes that I have to use a mixer for. So anyway, go ahead and just mix it up, see? You're just gonna mix it by hand. It's gonna be thick, like a thick dough, but your flour should mix in pretty good. And you may have a little bit of crumbly here and there, but that's okay. We're not gonna worry about that. It's gonna be okay. And I think I forgot to tell y'all, but preheat your oven to 350, okay? Once you get your cookies all good and mixed up, we're gonna go ahead and take our, I don't know if it's a one inch or a two inch, y'all, because you know, measurement, mm -mm, can't do it. But I think it's about a tablespoon. 
and we're just going to scoop those out and i'm using this because we're going to make these you know there's going to be a sandwich cookie so you want your cookies to be roughly the same size so make sure you don't put them too close because they're going to spread out some and you don't want them you know you don't want to mess your cookies up we want to make these pretty so go ahead and get your cookies on there and we're going to bake those for about 10 minutes this is what they look like when they come out they're going to be real puffy but once they cool they're gonna flatten out just like this right here and that's what we want them to do okay see how flat that went okay so while your cookies are all cooling and it took me three pans to get all those cookies done okay so while they're all cooking cooling not cooking y'all they already cooked while they're cooling we're gonna go ahead and get our cream made so bring margo back out one stick of softened butter and then slow that mixer down. Y'all saw I almost did it. Slow it down, and then we're gonna add in our powdered sugar. You're gonna need two cups of powdered sugar total. So just add a little bit in at a time. Then we're gonna add in one teaspoon of vanilla, and then we're going to add in two to three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Now start out with two tablespoons, and see where that gets you because it doesn't take much liquid to make you know this powdered sugar you know thin you know thin out whatever i'm trying to say so you don't want to make it too too thin because we want it kind of thick to sit in our cookie right we don't want it to like run out of the cookie so once you get the consistency where you need it to be and you may have to stop and scrape it down you know a couple of times scrape your bowl down a couple of times but once you get it where you want it, then we're about to put these little cookies together, y'all. So we're going to take, look at those cookies. Look how good they look, y'all. And I'm going to tell you, they are chewy. Oh, those cookies were good just right by themselves. But you want to make sure that you match up two cookies that look pretty much the same size. Now, they should be if you measured them out, you know, with a little cookie scoop. But just in case, you know, some of them get a little oblong and a little this or that, whatever. So just, you know, try to match them up the best you can. So you're going to put just a little scoop. And you don't need a whole lot, y'all, because this stuff is sweet. And then just put your other cookie on top and just press it down. Y'all, look at that. Look at, it's an oatmeal cream pie. It is a darn oatmeal cream pie, y'all. I was so impressed with myself. <laughs> but let me tell you, they're very sweet. The The filling is, is very sweet. But I found out that if you let them sit overnight and you eat them the next day, the filling is not as sweet anymore. And the cookies, even days later, those cookies were still super, super soft and chewy, y'all. You have got to try this recipe. It is so good. I'm going to put y'all another video right over here, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye, y'all.